Hello, this is Scott Manley here, and when we last left our intrepid explorers, they were on the surface of the moon, having just landed their, in, their shoestring budget vehicle um, on its side. However, they are not to be discouraged, and the thing about RCS thrusters is that they can in fact fire sideways. So, just firing up the system, checking it's hot and getting ready to go. Here we go! Uh, unfortunately, the weight of the capsule drags the nose over very quickly and it kind of falls. But, not to be outdone, they, um, they <laughs> pull themselves together, get ready for another go, and off they go again. Now, the other thing is they have backwards reverse thrust so whatever way this is pointing they can in fact fire they just have to be careful that the they don't fire backwards for too long because then the astronauts will in fact fall off so just trying to get this thing pointed one the right direction so i can get it uh start putting it into orbit and i think that's the way we want to go we just want to be thrusting that direction as quickly as possible trying to use as much of that fuel in the right direction. We've already raised, wasted a bunch of a tank here. Uh, we have the surface information. No, I don't need that. I need the autopilot and uh, not the, the orbital information. There we go. Okay. So our apoapse is 1.8 kilometers. We're traveling at 100 meters per second. And I'm, ah, that uh, mouse action has uh, messed up my orientation. We're wasting more fuel, but we are trying to get up some orbital speed as quickly as this will allow us. 140, 150 meters per second. Our apoapse is now up to three kilometers. Just keep going. Maybe we'll get there. And if not, well, uh, there's other other possibilities. 200 meters per second. 220. Come on. Get as much speed as we can. 250. 260. We're about half orbital velocity now, 270, 275, two, oh, 280, okay, burnout, now, now, switch to the characters and fire up those EVA systems, because we need to get going and use as much, get as much speed as we can. The only thing, it problem is, we can only fire, with, fly with one pilot at a time, so... We're going to try and get some speed and altitude up with the, with uh, this first guy. And then we're going to switch to the other one and get some speed up. And hopefully we can juggle their orbital parameters and get them up into orbit without having them all crash down. But uh, I'm just going to try and figure out how long I have between these things. I also don't want to waste too much fuel because after this I am going to have to rendezvous. And that will take some fuel in and of itself. The spacecraft, however, will be abandoned to the surface of the moon. So I think we'll let him go now. Uh, let me see, 430. We're getting pretty close to orbital velocity with this guy. Um, just needs to get a bit more altitude. He should be okay for a while. Now, um, oh, I need to go back to the map to switch characters. There we go. So, yeah, the spacecraft is already heading towards the surface. It's like 6.4 kilometers up, so get going ASAP. I think I, I shall take the guy out of the spacecraft because he will definitely not survive if he's inside it. So get him going upwards now, upwards and outwards. We can see the other pilot is already 11 kilometers out on us, basically holding shift and W. The great thing is that he does provide a nice uh, marker in space for us to follow, get oriented on. Okay, so now we have, we've killed our vertical velocity. We can switch to the other one and hopefully get him going. Uh, now the other one's out to 15 kilometers. Just got to try and juggle these things. Um, yeah. Pick, fallen, fallen down very quickly, but I see that needle gliding slowly towards zero. Um, it literally is like juggling. I have to try and catch all three of these guys before they hit the ground. Um, moreover, because these things take a while to respond, I have to catch them well before they hit the ground. 
20 kilometers out here. The other one is first. The first launcher is. Ah, uh, man. And that is taking a really long time. Okay, now we really got to get some vertical speed on this guy. Come on, keep going. Because the longer, the more vertical speed they have, the longer they're going to keep, the longer they'll keep going after we forget. Ah, look, there is the planet Kerbin. Okay, um, switch character again. The fast switch is really, really, really helpful. Um, how is he? Oh, um, man. I think I am concerned. Which one am I looking at? Oh, he is, he is like really heading towards the ground. I gotta get him out of there soon. Ah! Come on! Come on! He is heading groundward. There are the rocks there! No! Fire your thrusters, damn it! Full power! I know you can't select power, but yes! Yes, we're gaining altitude now. Oh my goodness! Whew! That is a close one. That is a cl but but oh, Calwig! Calwig is really heading groundwards. Um, quick! Uh, gotta gotta make sure I don't hit. I give myself enough lead time here. Uh, I really wish I'd now burnt all all his fuel to get himself into orbit. Calwig is now two point five kilometers. Hopefully, he's not too close to the mountains. Come on, change, change! No, ah, we have lost Calwig. Well, hopefully we can rescue the other ones. Um, no, 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 close, close, close. Oh, tracking station, damn it, damn it. Kilstead, Kilstead. Come on, you're a suborbital. You gotta get out of this. You've survived worse things. Just imagine, what would Jeb do? Oh, look, he's lost control. Um, no, it's Wildorf. Wildorf is the one we need. What? is this doing here, damn it? Come on, give me my control back. There we go. Uh, heading downwards. There are those rocks. I do not want to get dashed against those. No, we have already lost one pilot on this trip. Damn it, I am not losing one more. If there's any more. <laughs> he owes his life, or he's lost his life because of these damned budget cuts. Oh my goodness! Oh, man, it's a shame there's no shadows. It'd be nice to see this shadow getting passed across the landscape. Okay, um, where's my other pilot? And how is he doing? Oh, god damn, this map is going... Okay. Okay. Um, I think he's doing well. He's, he's bought himself some time to Apple apps again. And he's got to switch characters back again. i got to find him on the map. But... There he goes. Uh, we got some life out of him. But he's definitely on a downward arc. Okay, he should be good now because he's got like a, you know 30 degrees worth of planet to go around before he lands. So now I think if I can just finish getting this guy into orbit, we'll be fine. And you know, he's got plenty of altitude. So just head towards the planet Kerbin and burn the fuel until you get yourself into orbit. You're not going to be able to get to Kerbin, but once you're in orbit, you do have a spacecraft you can rendezvous with. And there, the nice in, the indicator there shows you how uh, how long it is until they reach Apple Apps. That tells me how long I have between them. I should have really made better use of that and saved my other pilot. But you know, it's all because of these stupid budget cuts. Don't they understand? <sighs> Okay, so he is, uh, well, wow, he's definitely in a high orbit now. Now, uh, I should switch back to my other pilot and uh, try again. Sometimes I wish this the nearest switch would switch uh, a little further away if necessary. Okay, so he is getting his his Apple apps up and, and you know, I'll soon be able to time accelerate around to these guys. And then it will just be a slow rendezvous with uh, trying to find a spacecraft to rendezvous with. I mean, honestly, you can see quite a few in low moon orbit. I have um, 
a number of aborted missions. There are abandoned landers here that were left because they did not have a computer system or RCS or anything. They were early experiments that failed. So these pilots should be able to use one of them. You can also see some other um, pilots that have been left over from other missions. I will rescue those at some point. I may not make a video about it because, you know, um, watching pilots rendezvous repeatedly is not necessarily the best fun to be had. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I, I literally am home free. I've, I've managed to save two out of three. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think I need to make some improvements to the, the lander design if I'm going to uh, use it anymore. Mm. Just waiting for the time acceleration to really bring me around so that I can circularize this orbit. But yeah, I mean, so that's the thing. The spacecraft, um, it just, it really only needed like a hundred meters per second or so to get one pile into orbit. It got me, uh, you know, way over that. It got me almost 200 meters per second. That meant that I had, you know, I could get into orbit with like 60% of an EVA tank, which actually is, leaves us a pretty decent amount for the rendezvous. It's just may have to be a slow rendezvous. Uh, I don't know if I can rendezvous in, in the four hour limit that, of, uh, you know, that suit supplies are supposed to have in the real world. Um, I think they've improved since then, but nonetheless, it's nice to do these things and not leave pilots floating around for years on end. So that's him. He's safe. Now to uh, find his uh, compatriot and correct his orbit. I think that's... Uh, he looks like he's kind of in front below him. So yeah, just thrust. And there I now have a two astronauts out of three in orbit. And it is just a matter of... Uh, time and fine flying to bring them back. Oh, look, he can enjoy the view of the, the lunar arch there with a, another mission that had previously visited it. I'm sure he has a wonderful view. I mean, look at the size of those helmets. Those face plates must let them see a truly panoramic vista of this desolate world. You know, what, what was the phrase? A beautiful desolation. That was how the astronauts, the Apollo astronauts described the moon. But yeah, I shall see you around sometime. Fly safe.